What's up everyone? I'm Chef Alicia and it is Friday night and on Friday nights in our house we have family movie night and we also have family pizza night. So tonight our pizza is going to be a bacon ranch chicken pizza and I'm going to share the recipe with you. Enjoy! I'm going to start off here by making my Easy Cheater white pizza sauce. This is going to be 4 ounces of cream cheese, a half of a cup of sour cream, along with 2 minced garlic cloves, a teaspoon of kosher salt, and sometimes I also like to add like a quarter teaspoon or so of white pepper. Mix that all together and if you have time, cover it and put it to the side and let the flavors develop for an hour or two. The next thing that I need to do is cut up my red onion. So I actually only need half of this guy. So I'm just going to cut him in half and then peeling and then I'm going to slice him long ways. Once you get your red onion nice and beautiful and chopped up like so, we're going to move it over to the pan and I have about a tablespoon of olive oil nice and hot in the pan. There are my onions and I'm putting a little bit of kosher salt onto the onions and just giving them a little stir. Next, I'm going over here to my bacon, and I have about three quarters of a pound of applewood smoked bacon. And just a little hint, if you freeze your bacon partially, it's easier to cut, although I did not do that for myself this time. The bacon goes into the pan along with the red onions, and give that a little stir and let that cook while we go over here to our chicken breast. So here I have a chicken breast, and this is about a pound chicken breast. Chicken was a healthy chicken, big eater. So I do have this partially frozen. It makes it much easier to cut into these thin little slices, which is what I want. So this is about the thickness that I'm looking for right here, and I am just going to go ahead and add that right into my pan. And again, a little bit of kosher salt, and if you would like, you can add a little bit of pepper in there too. I like pepper in mine, but some people don't like to be able to see the little black flecks in the pizza. So give that a stir and we're just going to partially cook this chicken because remember it's going to go into the oven and we don't want it to turn into chicken jerky in there. So I'm looking for it to be about this done. I'm going to try to show you these little pieces here. You can see that chicken isn't all the way cooked. It's par cooked. So it's about halfway cooked. Just show you one more piece here. This is what I'm looking for. So over to my dough, which I'm not going to spend a lot of time on, but I will share a crust recipe with you another time. But I'm just going to roll it out a little and then stretch it with my hands. And of course, you could just roll this all the way out, but my dough didn't feel like cooperating, so I'm hand stretching it. Next, I'm going to move it over here to my pizza stone, which has been in the oven preheating to 400 degrees. So the pizza stone is really hot, and my crust is a little too big, but that's okay because it's going to shrink up. See, there it is. And also notice here that I poked fork holes in there. That way it didn't turn into a big puff in the oven. And now it is ready for me to spread my sauce on it. And I should mention that was in there for 10 minutes exactly. So I have spread my white sauce on it and now I'm adding my other toppings, but just a little bit because I like to layer my pizza. So I'm going to do a layer of the toppings and then a layer of cheese. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to do another nice layer of my toppings. But this time I'm going to use whatever is left in my pan of toppings. And as you can see, it was quite a bit. One more layer of cheese and into the oven at 400 degrees until it is gold and bubbly. And meanwhile, I'm going to chop up some parsley. And to chop up the parsley, you just gather it into a nice, neat little pile. And then use your knife and go over it just one time like this in the nice, neat little pile. And then just kind of chop over it again. Don't chop your poor parsley to death. It doesn't like it. This is plenty of chopping just a couple times over it. Sprinkle this over your beautiful golden brown pizza. And then we're ready to put some ranch on there. So what I do is I just use a fork and kind of, you know, I don't know how to say it, spray, move around the ranch dressing like this. I kind of fling it. I fling the ranch dressing. I think that's what we'll say until it looks yummy like this. And you can put as much ranch on you as you want. You can also add it into that white sauce if you want. Like for example, you could replace a quarter cup of the sour cream with a quarter cup of ranch dressing. So here it is all finished.